So here they are, PlayStation's 30th anniversary DualSense controller and the PS Portal. Today, we'll do some unboxings and take a first look at these limited edition accessories. So let's jump right in. Okay, the first thing you'll notice is the black box. Sadly, I don't have my PlayStation box or remember what it even looks like, but a quick search online shows that Sony wanted to bring back that original look, and they did a really great job. We have the original PlayStation font, the four colors, and that dark gradient background. Here's a normal DualSense box, which looks plain and boring next to this one. The sides are white with some more info, and the back looks almost as good as the front. It's a nice box. And here's the PS Portal box, which has the same overall retro look to it. The dark background, the iconic colored symbols, and that PlayStation text. Again, even the back looks great. Another nice box. Let me get the original one, so you can see the difference. And here's all of them lined up next to each other. Alright, I'm going to start off with the DualSense controller. On the inside, you can see all of these icons which are different PlayStation products. Consoles, handhelds, controllers, headsets, and even the mouse. Let's slide this out, and you can see the whole inside is filled with product icons. The inside box looks nice too. PlayStation 30th Anniversary. On the back and sides, there are PlayStation symbols, 3, circle, X, square, and triangle. And underneath is a dark gray bag instead of a white one. Let's take this off, and wow, this controller is beautiful. But we'll come back to it later. Now, for the PS Portal. Same situation here, so let's slide this box out. We can see the product icons on the inside, and the box has PlayStation 30th Anniversary, with the same symbols on the box. Again, there's a dark gray bag, but let's see what else we get in the box. A normal USB-C cable, not the fancy PlayStation one that comes with the PS5 Pro, and a manual if you need something to read later. Time for the big reveal. And how cool is that? The PlayStation boot up screen as a peel sticker. This is beautiful too. It makes me want to not use them and put them up on display. I already have separate videos on the PS5 and Portal, so I'll leave them in the cards and link them in the description box below. So let's take a look at the DualSense in more detail. If you used one before, this is exactly the same, minus the color, text, and symbols. I actually have the original PlayStation and controller, but this is almost 30 years old, so the colors are yellowing. Instead of a solid color, we have a two-tone look, from the grips and touchpad to the bottom joystick area, and the grips are a matte finish rather than a semi-gloss. The D-pad is darker, as well as the PlayStation symbols, and they have the original colors, red, blue, pink, and green. Even the PS logo has the same colors as the one on the console. Red, yellow, green, and blue. It's a really nice touch. On the back, we have the text, PlayStation 30th Anniversary. And if you look really close, I mean really close, you can see the updated grip symbols. Three, circle, X, square, and triangle. I guess it's time for a DualSense family photo. If you haven't heard about the PS Portal, it's basically a DualSense controller split in half with an 8-inch touchscreen in the middle. So it's going to share a lot of the same features as the DualSense we just looked at. The color, PlayStation symbols, logo, grips, and the text on the back. And for comparison, here's the regular portal in the original PlayStation. There was actually an update a few days ago that enabled cloud streaming for select PS5 games. No PS5 is required, but you'll need a PS Plus premium subscription. There was also some audio adjustments for the built-in speakers and PlayStation Link devices. Now I kind of regret not getting the limited edition PS5, but let me know if you were able to order any 30th anniversary products in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!